Hi, this is a shifting video. So this kind of relates to all region scales. So let's just talk about on the E string in D major where we go. So we talk, I'm always telling you guys to go slow, right? Why are we going slow? So we can be accurate because look, you start on two and you want to land exactly on the right A. If you go too fast, watch what happens. And then you have to adjust, right? Adjusting is not good. So you want to flow it up. And so watch, if I do it in slow motion, you're going to start on two, right? Look at my beautiful hand frame too. Keep it like a happy little clam, right? Don't tuck your fingers in like a little dead shrimp. Keep all your fingers curled and in good hand shape, right? So you're going to go from two. And then when you shift to one, you're going to transfer pressure to the first finger. I'm only doing this to show you for the video. Don't tuck your fingers in. And then you're going to lightly slide up to A. And then when you go backwards, you're going to do the opposite, right? You're going to transfer power from first finger. Glide down on two. Right? So the same thing on the next scale on G major when you get to... Make sure your thumb travels with your hand, right? Not before it, not after, right? Right? So one thing that my teachers always told me, if you don't have time to do anything else, practice your shifts, right? Because look, a lot of you guys and girls, when you're playing your scales, your intonation is really good, except for what? When you shift, right? So if you shift incorrectly, that doesn't sound exactly right, right? So if you shift correctly, then all the notes after it are gonna be in tune, more than likely, right? Right? So practice very slowly and make sure you practice your shifts the most because that's where you're going to get in trouble. Right? Good. Hope that helped.